We are investing like never before in education, job training, and health care. Governor Reynolds has admitted mistakes have been made with the privatization of Medicaid and says she is working to improve the system, as well as creating new options to make health care accessible for all Iowans. It's an option for families that were paying um, really couldn't afford health insurance and, and we still need Washington DC to get something done but in the interim I couldn't wait we needed to find a solution for families that were really struggling to provide health care for their kids. The governor has also kept a line open to the president urging him to remember farmers in the trade wars. Nobody wins in a trade war um, you know trade is critical to Iowa one in five jobs so we need to um, you know we want to get these negotiations wrapped up. Although our state universities have taken a hit Reynolds expects to invest more in education now that the state has a 127 million dollar surplus. We have invested in education more every single year we are fourth in the country, eighth in teacher salaries. We actually have put more money in each year and with the budget balance with the surplus and with the economy growing and Iowans wages increasing, we're going to get to have a different story next year. And the issue she touts everywhere she goes. We that, want to keep reducing taxes and we want to make government smaller and more efficient. Tax cuts. We're cutting taxes and helping Iowans keep more of their hard earned money and we're seeing an economy that's growing and wages that are increasing. So Iowans are the winners from that. And so I'm excited about what we're doing and look forward to keep it going. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.